Hi there, this is Kawa, here with the promised Conan video that everyone decided on, um, that I would get her 4 stars before I make this video. So I got her 4 star yesterday from the Lucky Board, uh, it cost a few thousand coupons, nothing too serious. Um, so today I'm just going to show you what the teams that I would run Conan with looks like, and I'll do a little detail on explaining how it works and why I think it well, not why I think it works, because I know it works. Um, but Today is a little unique seeing that I have two team setups that I can share with you. So this is not your traditional Conan team where you run the Shark Kasame. This is my version of it. So I'm not going to go into detail about Conan because we all know she is a great unit. She does not cost much to recruit these days and if you can, you should definitely get her because she is a very dominant force in the uh, meta and she does not lose any footing anytime soon. So, uh, this team here runs Ambu Yamato. He is not negotiable. I just gotta say that. I know a lot of people like to check on do I have you know possible replacements for units in my teams. Uh, this Yamato here for this exact setup is absolutely necessary. He's required for the chasing, the chakra generation, and for his CC that he has on his mystery. So Yamato can actually be recruited as a two star. So he cost about 2k coupons, I want to say. Nothing too expensive, so you can just get him as a 2-star, it's not that serious. I got him as a 3-star because I had excess uh, points in like a bunch of different events that he was part of, and I just decided to pick him up. So the unit that is obviously here that is negotiable is the Shisui. Uh, you can either run Shisui or you can run Onoki. If you run Onoki, then the setup looks a little bit different, meaning uh, I mean your skill setup looks a little different. Uh, there are pros and cons to using either or of them, but uh, I'm going to show you the Shisori one today. Uh, I prefer the Shisori one because it gives you more CC, because you will get CC from Yamato for two turns, and then you can get the Koto Matsukami from um, Shisori, and then reset it, and then do another two rounds on each of them. So there's a long lockdown on your enemies while you're just killing them with Conan. So the talents are relatively basic. You're just going to take the Dance of Impetus, the Shadow Clones, because the rest of these are not very good. Uh, the Shooter Rasengan helps you with the uh, chases, so that it, it produces a very long chase, and it links everyone into it. Uh, Flower Guard is very basic. Uh, you, it's for obviously Conan to protect her from any debuffs. So I was going to touch on this one really quickly. Uh, you see a lot of people who run Conan. They like to run Conan and another female and Wind Main and then take Flower Guard. It's usually a healer, that last unit. So I just want to point out that the Flower Guard only works on two people. Uh, if you bring another female, then Flower Guard is not always guaranteed to be on um, Conan. And that's something that just irks me when I see it. Um, don't do that. <laughs> you, you want to always maximize your benefits so that your flower guard always lands on Conan. So you can't only bring... Well, you only can bring Conan as your female. You can't bring any other females. You have to bring all... The rest of them has to be males. And you just have to live with it because you want flower guard and you don't want it to not be on Conan because then that's just terrible. Uh, I see it all the time. I just want to put it out there, guys. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so for the last passive, you take Natural Draining because you're going to do four chases in this uh, setup. Producing Chakra for your Conan and making her hit harder. The Snake is used here uh, because it sets up the chase. I will show you in a second with the Kakashi clones how it looks. Oh, let me give the support first. All right. Okay, I'm going to attack four of them. So, we're just not going to cast anything, except maybe Conan's uh, Mystery on round 2, so you can see the chase. So that's what we're standard, it puts you instantly to 100 chakra, and then with the Mystery, it will, yet again, put you to 100 chakra. It, it's gonna be a longer chase, it's just that those clones can't survive Cody's damage right now. 
So, also, the most important part is when you uh, do it with the mystery, your Yamato is going to chase too. So, you don't want to cast Kotoma Tsukami right away because you want to get Yamato's uh, high combo chase to have the CC factor. And it only has a CC factor if you're over 60 chakra. So, that's how it looks like with Shisoi. And I'm going to show you what Onoki's one looks like. There's some light changes. So you put Onoki here. And the difference here is when you run Onoki, you do not need to use a summon to fulfill the chase. You are allowed to use King of Hell for the poison. Or you're able to use Guy's Tortoise. The Tortoise allows you to pull off Yamato's uh, high combo chase uh, on Conan Standard, which King of Hell does not allow. I'll show that in a second also. And then the other important factor about Onoki being in this game is that he can randomly give the double attack over to Conan, and then Conan can just lower her CD even more. Uh, that's the benefit of running Onoki versus Shisui. Shisui actually gives you more CC, but Onoki is more aggressive in a way that he can provide a second attack and you get a uh, stronger chase because you can run the King of Hell. So this is the test with the King of Hell. See, you hit only 28 on the standard. Uh, obviously, you hit the full thing um, on the mystery, but if you really want the full CC stand, uh, on the standard, you're going to have to run uh, the turtle. So if the Kakashi didn't die there, it was supposed to be a, a full 30 hits and it would have CC the other two Kakashis. The only downside with this is that um, Onoki might randomly give the double attack to a clone. Uh, that's not something you really want, but it's not that bad. Uh, okay, so let me show you it with the turtle. So with the turtle, you're gonna get Yamato's chase, uh, the high combo chase. Uh, with Conan standing. See, it hits just enough to get there. And then you can get the CC on turn 1 if Conan starts it with Murder Standard. And the thing is that um, you run Shisori and, or, or Yamato or Onoki and Yamato on, because they all their standards somehow can link into uh, a chase, which is relatively deadly. So, Oroki would be the more budget-friendly option uh, for those who don't have Shisoi, and obviously the Shisoi version is the one I prefer because it is uh, more controlling. You get the option to run multiple CCs that last two rounds each, and then reset it and continue on. So, as I said, today I'm going to run the one with Shisoi. Uh, let me swap back over before um, Sage World starts. Oh, oh wrong section. Also, as you can see, my Onoki was a little weaker. He was not fully awakened, and uh, he did not have his Bond cards on. Uh, also, just going to show you guys that I finished my second set of Bond cards because I'm already starting to move on to my uh, move 2's stuff. Uh, the only thing really left for my move 1 right now is to get this last initi initiative stone and um, the control and compos. Those are not super priority, but yeah, it's time to start moving on to the move 2. Alright, let's um, see if we can encounter maybe some Naruto's Ashura modes, and I'll show you how fast they die, because he cannot dodge Conan. Let's 
so just bear with me it's 30 seconds more well 20 something seconds more so we'll just wait it out instead of me pausing the video oh I actually just remembered my chase is not correct I better fix this uh, get the sneak back here Oh, also just want to mention, if you don't have the uh, Katsuya summon for healing, you probably should run the uh, dog, the Shiba, not uh, not Pakun, uh, Shiba. You want the Shiba to uh, block for Conan, it helps. So, in this matchup, there's a Fire Main, you don't want to take the chance that there's a random uh, Reflect, so you just usually allow it. I, if, if, that's how I play. If I can't confirm that you have the mirror or not, I just rather not risk it. And as I always said, I don't like to set up. Shibachi for Sasori just doesn't make sense. I understand that Sasori is here for buffs, but he can randomly take Jinpachi's buff, and I just don't like that. It's 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 a personal complaint of mine. How did I get? Oh, uh, Sasori. I was to say, how did I get chaos? <laughs> Okay, let's see who's around. Oh, just attack somebody. Don't know who this is. Uh, there's a clone. There's. Okay, this makes no sense. Why is there a Naruto all the way back here? So, normally I would stop that Madara from doing anything by using Yamato. But as I don't want to risk the chance that there was a mirror, which there was, uh, I didn't go for it. So, let's just kill as much as we can right now. Uh, probably kill him with this root. So yeah, this makes sense. Why is this never going all the way back here? Like he's not a support unit. There's no reason for him to be back there. Try healer Kushina So this is an example of what I don't like. See, this Tsunade consumed um, the flower guard that Conan could have got. Sageworth is a little small today. Oh, we definitely can't fight him. Oh, he wants to fight us, I guess. 
Okay, so yeah, he's 420k, I am 313. I am going to die a horrible death here, um, and there's nothing much I can do about it. That's interesting, that was in the crit. Oh, there went my win main. Uh interesting. We No, we we still have no chance. <laughs> it it was just interesting if she so actually survived. I might have been able to do something, but as it currently stands, there should be nothing I can do about this. Uh, it should be just complete death here. Because he's gonna go off, he's gonna kill Yamato and Conan. There's not much I can do about it. But hey, there's a 110k difference. The fact that Yamato even survived was quite amazing to me. Yet again, no crit! That's interesting. This crit rate seems a little low today. Usually he should be blasting my whole back row, no problem. But yeah, majority of the people who are scoring like 7 kills, 11 kills, when I only had like 4, they're all using Haruzen teams, and I don't know, I just get bored, I don't want to play the Haruzen team, it's just, yeah, I can kill really fast, but it's kind of boring, <laughs> and on top of that, it, I, I, I always still land second, at least, if I'm running these teams, so there's really no reason for me to play the Haruzen team. Because then I would have to still struggle ridiculously hard to try to get, um, whatchamacallit, to get, uh, first. And it's not easy because I'm fourth or fifth strongest in this bracket. So, yeah. Um, back to talk about the teams. Um, I do not like the fact that Minato here, yet again, move three. Never understood. Why is he move three? Uh, I understand they're trying to be cute here with, you know, this is... The Uzumaki family, I guess, but practical use-wise, it's not very good. Because you're playing three three attackers. Oh, oops! I pressed Kotogatsukami in accident. So yeah, you're playing with three attackers. Well, it's actually two and a half because Kushina is more of a tank, but your support is simply the water main. When she dies, you have no support. And these guys can't protect her. So, I don't know. I, I just never like team setups like that. Uh, somebody in this cluster, I'm sure. Alright, we're just gonna snatch that chakra. <laughs> So, talking about this team, this team is really outdated. The Tri Healer si Singleton Tank is not a thing anymore. Because of Conan! <laughs> you, you just can't compete with Conan. Yo, yeah, sure, you have three healers. You better heal more than my Conan can do. <laughs> oh, who attacked me? I see. Um, relatively confident, he has the mirror. So, we're not going to go for it. Okay, she's straight down. Let's smear that fire me. So I can't do anything stupid. And let's try to dish out some damage. I think we're going to reset. Yeah, we're just going to reset here. 
We're gonna reset here and kill off this Asuma. Keep him CC so he can't get stupid. Uh, we'll throw the snare in. Might as well. If it lands, he takes two turns CC, and he doesn't get to fight back. Uh, also, FYI, this is. Uh, it's not personal. He is stronger than me by 20k. Uh, this just shows the fatal flaw of the Hiruzen team. It's if he doesn't kill you with that initial burst, he doesn't do much. Oh, he's gonna break out of it. Yep. Um, he lost a lot of buffs, so he shouldn't be able to blow me up instantly. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll blast you again with Conan. CC, please? Yep, got him. And he should die a horrible death here because I am never allowing this Sasori to go off. I'm gonna snare him for another two turns, ideally. So we're gonna play it safe here. We're going to hold off on Conan's mystery because we know Sasori is getting up next turn. And we want to blast him before he could get to do his mystery. Because we don't want that Hiruzen getting free. So we're gonna blast him like this. And then this will keep him locked down and killed ever so slowly. I really hate the fact that he has that old man buff where he, he gets stronger as he loses more HP. He gets tankier and it's just really annoying that he gets that. But yeah. And now he's gonna die because Conan's just gonna blast him. So this is a nice buffer to my uh, kill spree. He was worth 13 kills, so that was very nice of him to offer that to me. Uh, okay, this is a relatively standard team. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna try to stop the uh, Madara here, and hopefully there's no reflect that sends it back at Yamato. No, there definitely was. Oh god. Um, okay, I really hate that mirror. Oh, and I just lost all my chakra. Uh, it's fine, I'll just... Go for it next round. 210k. Oh, there was a sleep too. Oh my god. That would've sucked. That caught me. Alright, so we're just gonna blast the fire main. I really hate that mirror with a passion. I hated it since like 2.0 <laughs> when I was playing uh, the, the uh, punching water main. Uh, it, it was just the worst when he sends the chaos back at me. So I always hated that stupid fire main's mirror. Um, but realistically, this fight shouldn't have lasted this long. Where's the dodge? Bam, bam. And we'll shoot the Koto Matsukami out. He's actually critting a lot today. This Yamato I'm fine. I hope I don't have the gear on incorrectly, but I don't think I do. Because my Conan is doing just as much as she's supposed to. Uh, no, that's a guild, guildy. We're not gonna attack Gokin. Would be nice today. Even though he has a Naruto and I wanna attack him to show everyone how fast I kill those things. Oh, whoa! Perfect! There's one right here! Um, Alright. Let's snare this model right here. What is it? I probably should have let him do his lightning armor first. And then snared him and then stole that chakra. Ah, oh well. Let's blast him. So Naruto, you're at 300 life. 
You're at 200k. This is you're at 300. <laughs> uh, Yamato's gonna hit him with the hammer, and he's gonna dodge, and then she's able to deal with him. Him back with the Koto Matsukami, forced to dodge, and Conan standard alone should be more than enough to kill him. Oh, oh wait, I forgot he has Root. <laughs> uh, Root's 100% deep resistance does help a lot. Completely forgot about that. I'll attack you. Uh, a snare here. Uh, this team is relatively fine. Um, it's a typical Uchiha team. Uh, I don't know about the punch though, but I do know that the punch has uh, almost a literal zero turn CD if he has a shield on. But at move three, you're not really interrupting much, so I don't know. I don't like it there. I'd rather him have the double attack, but then I do understand if he takes the double attack, he can't cast it on round one. So there is that dilemma there. That's really just my only critique of it. It's that issue. Uh, no, I don't want to attack you. Is there someone else I can attack? Who is this? Oh, whoops! I attacked a groupie. But no mirror, so no care. <laughs> oh, you're getting blasted. I'm sorry. So this was uh, 220k? Oh hey! So, let's... This time, we're gonna do it correctly. We're gonna let him do his... Lightning car reverse, and then we're gonna steal this chakra. Excellent. Now we're gonna steal it. So we get a net gain of uh, going up to 80. We'll use 20 of it for Conan. So we have 60, and this Naruto should definitely. Oh no, he didn't die. He didn't get credit this time. Oh, slightly sad. Maybe he can impress me with his heal now. He lost 10k HP. Um, we have more than 10k now. He lost uh, 12? 12k HP. Maybe he can imp impress me with his heals. Well, he's gonna dodge this. I can just check his HP after this. Uh, Heal like 4k and then just died. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm too lazy to go back that way. Anyone up here? Anyone? 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 Nope. Okay, moving back down. Nope. Can't attack you. No one there. Someone there. Oh. Fire me. 
Ugh. To dread it. Why does everyone have this exact lineup? Also, why didn't I stop that? Ah, uh, whatever. So just a funny thing that I just want to ask about, why is this Kage Summit Madara not considered a Konoha member? Like, why does he have the Konoha trait? He claims he's Madara, right? And we all know Madara is part of Konoha. Why is it he considered <laughs> Konoha? But the mask command, who we don't know who he's affiliated with, is Konoha. It's weird. I I, I don't know. It's just something that bothers me sometimes. Some of these traits, you're just like, but he technically is a Konoha member, even if he was not exactly Madara. Just something to talk about while we wait to kill this Minato here. If I actually had my barrier, this would be a lot faster. But he should die to the ignite. Yeah, there we go. No, we're not going to attack that person again. Is there someone else to attack? We've got two minutes. Um, obviously, I'm not going to attack these two. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, it's a groupie. Don't want to attack them. Um, do I really have to attack this person? I don't want to attack them. That's a groupie. I don't want to attack them either. Uh, oh, you. Come back here, lightning mean. Damn it! Oh. oh no! That's a groupie. Don't want to attack him. Uh. A minute. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You, I have to attack you. There's literally no one else I can attack fast enough. Oh, wait, that's a bad play I made. I should have forced the Shisui to dodge. Sometimes I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> but it happens when, you know, you're overpowering most of your enemies. You sometimes just forget things. <laughs> Uh, see, if I pulled it off, I would have killed most of the team. Oh, well. Uh, second place? Not bad. Yeah, like I said, I always get like second these days because someone, uh, obviously, among the top three strongest, take up the first slot. So there's no real reason for me to play Hiruzen if I can get second place with fun teams that I get to show off to you guys. So, yeah, that was the um, Conan team, four stars. Using Shisui, uh, you can do it with Onuki, like I said, and you will be able to use King of Hell or Turtle if you want to trigger Yamato's chase. Uh, you, I don't think there's a substitute summon that you need to use, or well, you could use almost anything, but if you really wanted to, I guess you can use Gamakin if you don't have the King of Hell, and then turn this into the high combo chase. That would probably bridge the gap for um, if this was Onoki and um, you wanted Yamato's high combo. Actually, you know what? We'll just test this right now. I'll just do it real quick for you guys so that we can confirm these things. So we'll put Onoki here. And we're gonna assume that we don't have King of Hell or Turtle. So we put Gamakin and we'll take the vacuum blast. Alright, 
water. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely not enough on the standard, and it should obviously be more than enough when you go for um, the mystery. So, yeah, you could use Gamakin if you don't have King of Hell, the Turtle, uh, Ibisu, or the Frog. Yeah, there's the Frog. Um, yeah, if you don't have any of the high combo ones, just use uh, Gamakin. And if you do have the high combo ones, just use the high combo ones. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys had fun watching this episode of Sage World Battlefield. Uh, I'll try to come up with some other teams I can show. Uh, maybe we can have a little voting session again. Alright, have fun!